Getting started, you're gonna need a standard sewing machine, and we're gonna be using a Singer Heavy Duty. You're gonna need fabric, and I recommend using a duck canvas, a soft twill, or denim. And you're only gonna need about a half a yard. You'll need a sweatband, and you can either buy this or make this. I highly recommend buying it, and they're available at capsupplyco.com. You will also need a cover button. And lastly, you're gonna need your pattern, and this pattern is available at properfitclothing.com, and all you have to do is download it and print it out. So go ahead and take your pattern, lay the side panel on your fabric, and go ahead and cut out six. Next, grab your brim pattern, and you're gonna to wanna to cut out four. So in the end, you're gonna to wanna to end up with four brim patterns and six side panels. Take two of your side panels, place right sides together, and stitch along the side with quarter inch seam allowance. Grab one more side panel, place the right side together on either side, and then go ahead and stitch with quarter inch seam allowance. And this is going to make up half of your crown. And then go ahead and repeat this process for the other half, but don't sew the two halves together yet. Now we're gonna be showing you how to set up your twin needle. And this is super simple. Just install like a normal needle, set your machine to zigzag with zero width, and thread two spools of thread the same exact way. We're going to show you two different options for adding on your bias tape and these are just two different bias tape folders. The one on the right is just one you can get at any hobby store and the one on the left is available at capsupplyco.com. We are going to be using the one on the left just because it's a little bit easier for us to use and we've been using it for a while. But honestly they both do the same thing so use whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever one you're using, line it up with your presser foot and then just tape it right on your machine. You definitely are going to want to make sure this is secure so that way nothing's moving around when you're sewing on that bias tape. Now all you have to do is cut your bias tape to the measurement of the folder and you're ready to start sewing. And with your machine all set up to do bias tape, go ahead and stitch all four of those seams. We're gonna show you another option for adding the bias tape, and this is for if you wanna really get into cap making and take your game to the next level. We're using a double needle sewing machine and also the attachment. But if you're only looking to make one cap, then it's totally cool just to use a regular domestic machine with a twin needle. And we're going to show you really quick on this machine how it looks, but if you don't have this machine, it's not a big deal, just use your domestic machine. This is just to show you different options that are out there if you really want to get into high volume cap making. Now that you have all your seams covered, go ahead and place the right sides together, line up the middles, and sew all the way across that top seam. Have plucked the rose. 
And then lastly for the crown, go ahead and cover that middle seam up with your bias tape. Now we're going to be adding interfacing to just two of the brim panels. So place the wrong side of the fabric to the adhesive side of the interfacing. You will want to lay a piece of paper over top, this way your iron doesn't get all sticky on the adhesive. Then just iron where the fabric is, let it cool, and peel the paper off. Go ahead and trim around the panels. Then go ahead and take those two brim panels, place the right sides together, and do a quarter inch seam and you're just sewing both of the short edges. Then flip the right side up and go ahead and tap stitch both of those seams. That's an interesting twist. Hmm. Now repeat this process for the other two brim panels. Now take both of those panels that you just sewn together, place the right sides together lining up the seams and sew around the outside edge. Trim the seam allowance and then flip it right side out. Now we're going to be adding the stitches to the brim and make sure that outside seam is super flat and then just start stitching around in a circle. Your first stitch you want about a quarter inch away from the outside edge and each stitch after that do about a quarter inch inward until you hit the middle of the circle. And yes this will take a little bit of time just be patient and keep those stitches nice and parallel. Next go ahead and grab your crown and your brim and what you're going to do is line up the right sides and use those side seams as the outside edges and then go ahead and sew all the way around. Watch this. Now 
now we're gonna be attaching the sweatband. This stuff we made our own attachment and we made this out of heavier stock paper. All you have to do is make a little sleeve that your sweatband fits in there nice and snug and then go ahead and tape that onto your sewing machine. It serves as a guide so that way the sweatband doesn't slide all around while you're sewing it onto the crown. With the sweat bad guide on, go ahead and sew on the top of the crown, rolled over so it's like a top stitch, and sew all the way around. And there you have it, your sweatband is perfectly installed on that inside edge. Next we're going to be adding vents, so go ahead and mark your panels, and we're going to be using eyelets. You can either use a press or pliers, it's totally up to you, we have links in the description for both, so go ahead and check those out, but all you have to do is install them on all your panels and you're good to go. And the last step is to add the cover button. You can totally skip this step if you don't want to add the cover button, but we're going to add it just for that extra little touch. And this three piece set is available at capsupplyco.com. So all you have to do is put your cover over the top button and then you install the middle piece and then the prong goes in through the cap. And you can totally install these without a press. We have other videos that show you how to install these a little bit better, but for now we're just going to show you with the press and it's pretty easy to install them. And there you have it, your six panel bucket cap is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. If you have any ideas you want to see us do, definitely send them our way. We'll try to make it happen for you, but until then, we're going to keep the videos coming at you, so we'll see you next time.